it back. <laughs> Guys, I'm coming out here tonight to tell you a little bit of a story. It's going to take a couple of weeks, though. This one's kind of a long one. It took a bit of time and a bit of my life away from me. We're going to call it The Adventures of the Carolina Mud Boy. Now, circa somewhere around 91 or 92, I was living in Raleigh, North Carolina. Now, the beautiful thing about the soil throughout the south and somewhat into the southwest is it's all clay. There's no real soil there. We have to go shopping in the Midwest and say, hey, give us some dirt so we can actually grow things here. And they ship the dirt down and we grow things in the dirt and it's very, very pretty and nice and lush. And pine trees really love to grow out of clay for some reason. I've never made any sense out of that. It doesn't matter. So my buddy Chris, Chris was my best friend in the whole world. We're like 12 years old. We have a real ig and ook thing going on because I hit my growth spurt early and hit six foot three by the time I was 12. And Chris was the size of your average 12-year-old. So it was really nice, you know, big guy running around, little guy on his back going, faster, faster! <laughs> Didn't matter. So he bought, his dad bought him a brand new pair of Air Jordans. $100 shoes on a 12-year-old kid running around in the mud and the dirt and the muck and the mess. Not the best plan ever. So Chris and I, it's a Saturday afternoon. No, it was a Sunday afternoon. I remember, because it was a bye week, the Cowboys weren't playing, and that's why I wasn't at home watching TV. <laughs> so Chris is like, Jay, let's cut through the woods. It'll save like an hour off the walk, and we'll go to my house and hang out because I actually have a Nintendo. Fuck yeah! <laughs> so we decide, instead of cutting through all of the woods, they'd cut out a section of trees to put in a city park leveling out the ground, had bulldozers and shovels and rakes, and I won't say the other one. And, ah, one laugh. There's a cord there. We cut through the woods. We're walking through the open-ish area where they've cut away the trees for the park. And it's that nice, wonderful clay soil. And it's been raining in the spring, in the fall, excuse me, in uh, North Carolina. And it's been lovely. The grass is greener. Leaves are finally starting to turn on the trees so that there's this nice autumn blush through the entire tree line. It was gorgeous. We're walking through that park, you know, kind of looking at the strangeness of having just this one, one square just cut out of the middle of the woods. And it was really cool, you know. We're walking around, looking around. And all of a sudden, we hit a little bit of mud. And you guys ever gotten your foot in clay mud, you know, where it kind of makes that vacuum around your foot and you fight for a couple seconds and you get your damn foot out of the mud, right? So we get out of the mud. And that's what Chris looks at me and goes, oh, fuck. There's about $85 of shoes still sitting in the mud, Jay. And I'm too little and tiny to go back in there and get it out. Can you go get my shoe? You little fucking bastard. What the hell, man? Why didn't you learn how? Why are we even? Oh, God, your dad beat you. This is not cool, man. So arguing aside, I get back in the mud. I reach into the mud. Pull his shoe out. Bounce it off his fucking head. Turn to take my step and... Um, that's when Chris looks at me and goes, Hold on! I'll help you! I'll go get a stick! Chris, me. Here, Jay, grab hold. <laughs> Quit fighting me. Jay, this isn't working. No shit! We've been at this for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. I've now sank up to my shit. Chris gets a bigger limb because we broke that one in half. So I'm fat, or was. We begin to pull, we shove, we ply. We're trying to dig around it with other sticks so I can get my foot out, and another 35 minutes have gone by. And I looked at my knees. Night begins to fall. <laughs> Chris looks at me and goes, Jay, I'm gonna run home and go get my dad. We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, okay? So that's when Chris runs off into the woods. <laughs> now, you ever been in the woods? I mean, real woods. 
Because Texas, as far as I can tell, only has like one of those. And it's somewhere near Louisiana, and I think it technically might even be Louisiana. But in an actual forest, shit lives there. <laughs> and dusk is past, and the moon is rising, and the stars begin to come out. And cut out of the tree line is this perfect square, and I can see the night sky so perfectly. By the way, I've sank up to my balls at this point. <laughs> That's when I hear 